Hello, and thank you for taking a few moments to hear about the work we've been doing here at the South Washington County Telecommunications Commission. South Washington County Telecommunications Commission. For over 40 years, that's been our name, but soon we'll be changing that. Last year, our commission embarked on a journey to find a consultant to help us rebrand. We hired Mango Day, a design agency out of Minneapolis. You may have seen them at the Woodbury Community Expo and the Cottage Grove Showcase in April. They were conducting a community survey to help us better understand our brand and how we can better serve the community. The full launch of our new name, logo, and brand will occur in 2025. We've seen some other changes here at SWCTC in 2023 as well. Mark Martinez, our executive director for the last seven years, took a new position and left the organization in December. Our IT specialist, Damon Price, also took another position at the end of the year. Lonnie Garland and I were appointed to interim executive roles, and government producer Brian Schmidt moved to a newly created position as IT administrator. This left the need to hire a new government producer. Out of 56 applications, we selected Dan Hiding. Hi, I'm Dan. Dan brings 13 years of experience as a multimedia artist. I'm a director and cinematographer who also enjoys creating motion graphics and visual effects. In my career, I've had the privilege of creating music videos for Grammy-winning artists, shooting Emmy-winning episodes for PBS, and directing commercials for broadcast TV. I also love to do 3D animation in my free time. I'm excited to leverage my skill set to tell the stories of the communities we serve and to contribute in my own way to the future of media production. Looking at our financials, SWCTC operates on cable franchise and peg fees. Over the past few years, we've seen a slow decline in funding due to cord cutting and broadband competition. Total franchise revenue for 2023 was almost $1.6 million. This was down 5.8% from 2022. We are actively working to offset the loss by diversifying our funding sources. Currently, we rent our studio space, record and stream District 833 school board meetings and graduations, and do some video services for outside clients. Last year, we brought in over $41,000 in additional revenue. During the 2024 legislative session, a new initiative was introduced called the Equal Access to Broadband Act. This new legislation would modernize the franchising model to allow cities to create franchise agreements with broadband providers. We know local franchising works to ensure equitable build-out, proper reimbursement for use of the public rights-of-ways, and provides funding for local community media facilities like SWCTC. While the Equal Access to Broadband Act received a lot of support in this legislative session, it did not gain enough momentum to pass. We will continue to work with MACTA, other community media centers, and local legislators on future legislation. We did see a financial bright spot in January 2024 when the Commission renewed a 10-year franchise agreement with Comcast. The franchise, which SWCTC negotiates on behalf of our member cities, will provide an increase in our PEG fee from $1 per subscriber to 2%. This increase should help fill the leaking pot, per se, for a while. The renewed franchise also provides an upgrade in HD cable boxes at city facilities and the addition of two HD cable channels. Now SWCTC will have three HD channels and one SD channel. Now let's send it over to our lead producer, Bob McSherry, for an update about our video productions. Thanks, Anne. In 2023, we cable casted and streamed 145 city meetings and created 220 videos. Our top two highest viewed videos included a story about an autism advocate in Woodbury that received over 52,000 views and a retiring canine in Cottage Grove that received over 35,000 views. Here's a short look at some of the stories we told last year. Hi, welcome. I heard you were looking for me. And Hi. you are? Oh. Oh, uh, I'm Harold Angel Singh. I'm in town to uh, write Hi, the- Hi, Harold Angel Singh. <laughs> I just love this time of year. Yep, that's my name. I'm from a Big Giant City magazine. I'm here to write the story about the holiday train event this year. Hey, wake up. It looks like it's going to rain today. It is. Yes. That's fantastic because we haven't received our one inch of water for this week. I know. So you know what that means. What? It's watering day. Oh, it's watering day. Hey. I'm so excited. It's watering day. My name is Hamsika. I'm a fourth grader at Woodbury Leadership Academy, and I am talking with the Public Works Director.
The Gay Softball World Series is Naga's flagship event. The first Gay Softball World Series was in San Francisco and has uh, continued without fail for 46 years here. So the Twin Cities checked all the boxes. Fantastic hotels and spectacular field complexes like the one here in Woodbury and uh, all across the suburban Twin Cities area. We're happy to be in the Twin Cities. Imagine speeding to the park to find your son lying on the court, not breathing, and having CPR done on him, and then holding him tightly and telling him, hold on, we love you. Our team of talented producers received six national awards last year, including an Upper Midwest Regional Emmy for a stop motion Lego video educating residents about the Woodbury City budget. Every year, public meetings are held to talk about the following year's city budget. Anyone can attend and make suggestions. Then in December, right. the budget for the next year is finalized and approved. Oh, I see. I've always wondered what my property taxes were used for. This year's city operating budget will be used to maintain and enhance services like police, fire and emergency medical services, installing new playgrounds, maintaining the city trails, providing recreational options like ball fields and tennis courts, landscape maintenance, plowing, engineering, street construction, and of course, staff support. In addition to providing video production services to our member cities, SWCTC also provides AV planning, installation, and maintenance. To talk more about this is our Interim Assistant Executive Director, Lonnie Garland. In 2023, we spent over 300 hours repairing, replacing, and maintaining AV equipment in the member cities. We also completed the following projects. Updated the Bailey Conference Room at Woodbury Public Works, monitors in the Woodbury Public Safety EOC, and completed AV design work for the Central Park remodel. We also completed a new installation in the Glacier Valley Park building in Cottage Grove and finished the AV install in Newport City Council Chambers. Our technical team always wants to provide excellent, dependable service. Here's our IT administrator, Brian Schmidt, to talk more about some of the newer initiatives we have been working on. After over a decade, we launched a new website in quarter one of 2023. The new site offers a more current style, improved integration of our videos, and better viewing from mobile devices. We have also started utilizing AI components for things like script writing assistance, the ability to quickly enhance audio, and to create closed captioning. Another big item we have been working on has been applying for a low power FM license from the FCC. This would allow SWCTC to operate a low-power radio station, allowing us to bring local information to residents in a whole new way. We did receive approval, and we'll have up to three years to get the radio station up and running. More information to come on that. Now to talk about our social media statistics, here is government producer Elena Myers. In 2023, we saw growth on all of our social media channels. The SWCTC Facebook page increased by 141 followers, Instagram had an increase of 54 followers, and our YouTube channels saw an increase of 554 subscribers. SWCTC curates the YouTube channels for our member cities, and last year our video content was viewed over 303,000 times. Last summer, we also hired a social media intern for the first time to harvest the youth perspective, something we will be doing again in 2024. Now here's government producer Nikki Johnson to talk about how we engaged the community last year. Connecting with the community and our member cities is part of our strategic plan. In 2023, we had a popular snow creation contest on Facebook, celebrated Random Acts of Kindness Day by handing out donuts at the Park Grove Library and cookies at Central Park, tabled at the Cottage Grove Community Showcase in One Woodbury, encouraged people to spot our van around town, and did a drone demo at Strawberry Fest. Our team also had Promote Your Nonprofit Days, where we invited local nonprofits into our studio to record a promotional video. Perhaps our largest community engagement event in 2023 was our 40th anniversary block party. Our staff partnered with local area businesses and invited the public to tour our studio, talk with our staff, enjoy live music on the Junction 70 patio, and enjoy inflatables and food trucks. Even on what turned out to be a very hot day, we had a good turnout. Thank you to everyone who joined us this summer at our 40th anniversary block party. Like I said at the beginning of this video, SWCTC will soon have a new name and logo. 
In 2024, we'll be working through that process to find our new identity, and we'll be excited to reveal that. We are also currently in the design phase after signing a letter of intent to move our facility to the soon to be remodeled Central Park in Woodbury. This move is anticipated in 2025-26. Staff is excited to be within a community facility and look forward to building a space all of our member cities can benefit from. A sincere thank you to our member cities, city staff, and community members for your continued support. We look forward to telling new stories and providing services in 2024 and beyond.